Awesome. How y'all doing today? Great. Thank you for spending a few minutes with us today. Uh, we are going to start with some questions from our media, if that's cool with you. And we're going to go to right. David Ferrones of the South Florida Sun Sentinel. David, go ahead. Hey, Tyrico. Welcome back to Miami. Uh, obviously, you, you were close to, to deciding on Miami. I, I remember it was between them and Georgia for, uh, you know, when you were coming out of high school at Southridge. Um, was it something always in the back of your mind? Like, you know, what if I would have decided to, to go there before you moved away? And then what made you ultimately decide this time that uh, you wanted to come back home to play? Uh, the decision to go to Georgia over Miami was a family decision. And me and my mom came to a mutual agreement, like, she felt like it would be better if I, you know, just got out of the surrounding of Miami. You know, I grew up here and I know how things go down here and I'm not from a really safe neighborhood. And we both came to a mutual agreement, like me just maybe just stepping out would be the best move for me. And that's what happened. And with me coming back, it was just, it was more like, I know what I have to do with my, you know, my, as far as my academics and as far as this football career, I know what I have to do. And I, I had to explain to my mom, like, I'm at this point where not too many things could, you know, distract me and I'm not going to let too many things distract me. And I should have just stayed at Miami and, you know, built that, built that, built that here. So built that here instead of, you know, trying to build it somewhere else. And I built it at Georgia and I came back down here and I just explained to my mom, like, I know what I have to do and I know what I'm, and I know I'm going to do it. So it's nothing to worry about. Like, there's nothing to worry about. Like the worries we had about when I first signed to Georgia. Tyreek, we're going to go to David Lake at 24 seven. David, go ahead. Hey Tyreek, I wanted to ask you, um, it, it seems like, I guess you're going to get a shot to be a, an outside or a wide corner. And, and at Georgia, I think you mainly, focused on, uh, you know, nickel corner or in the slot there. How excited are you at, at having that opportunity at Miami? And, uh, you know, do you feel like you have something to prove at, at that position? Um, I feel like no matter where I play and no matter what position I'm at, I always have something to prove. And But as far as me getting this opportunity at corner, I feel like I do have a lot to prove because I, also, I have not been at the corner position in two years. You know, me and Coach Smart, you know, came up on a, a bunch of agreements up to why I why I couldn't play corner there and, you know, things didn't work out. But I feel like I do have a lot to prove this year, and I'm very excited with this opportunity I'm presented um, while being here to play on the outside. What are your early impressions uh, on Coach DVD and, and Coach T-Rub? They, they're eager, and they want to make they want to make sure these things are done right. Like uh, DVD and Coach T. Rob, you know they all about the details, and I come in extra, and you know I, I go through the plays, and they they break it down to me, and I just say they really hands on. Like, uh, never had a coach really just get out there and show me how he wanted done, and you know DVD and and Coach T. Rob still get out there and they show us how how it's done. Tyreek, we're going to Chris Stock next at Inside the U. Chris, go ahead. Tyreek, you touched on it just a little bit about your excitement. I was wondering if you could maybe explain it even more about just being at Miami. What have these first few months been like? And then obviously your your thoughts on getting ready to get going with spring ball. Uh, the first few months here, they, they, they have been tough. And that's just far as, you know, the transition into the new school and my my new living place and how the academics and everything else work here. So it, it hasn't, it has been tough, but everything is smoothing itself out and, as far as the team, I'm very excited to be a part of this team. And, you know, we we do we do drills Tuesdays and Thursdays, and everybody comes out with a great attitude, and everybody comes out and work. And I just, just I'm just happy to be a part of that, and you know, add my add my fuel to the fire that these guys already have. Tyreek, we've got Susan Miller Degnan from the Miami Herald. Susan, hey Tyreek, welcome. Um, the differences between, well, I have two questions, differences between the ACC and the SEC. Everybody's always talking about the SEC, right? And saying the ACC is kind of second rate. I wanted to ask you about that. And also, how many former teammates and former UN players from Southridge, guys you knew, did you talk to before coming here? Um, I really don't pay attention to, you know, the, how they put the SEC and the ACC um, 
you know, side by side, you know, rank them. I, I honestly feel like if, it's there, if there's a player, there's a player, and no matter what school he's at, he's going to do what he has to do to shine. So I never, you know, look upon anything or any conference lightly because if you do, that's where you, you know, fall short. And I kept in, I kept in contact with a lot of these a lot of these players and former and former teammates that that are here now. Like we we talked over the uh, these previous last two years. It wasn't every day, but it was still the, uh, it was still enough communication to let you know like we still had this relationship and it's not it's not it's it's not different or it's broken because I just chose you know somewhere else. Who are some of the guys? I just want to know who some of the guys were. That's all that you talked to and what they told you about Miami. Uh, you know, uh, DJ and, you know, Gilbert, uh, who was Larry and, uh, who else? talk to Gervin and they was, they were just, they were, they were just really telling us, they were really just telling me like, um, we all came back for a reason and that they decided that I actually chose to, you know, to come help them help, come help the team out for their, you know, final season here and, hopefully my final season, but they were, they were like very happy and very eager to, you know, to get working. Awesome. All right, we've got a few more for you. We're going to go to Daryl Street or Footballville. Daryl, go ahead. Uh, Daryl, I think you might be on mute. Terry, what's going on, brother? It was good. Listen, at, at, at any point, did you, I've been at this before, at any point, did you miss the city of Miami, uh, the actual city of Miami, your family? Um, uh, did you ever get like homesick at any point? Uh, yes, my first few months there, you know, it, I had a problem sleeping and we got that situated, but it was more like I missed my family, not more of the city of Miami. I miss, I miss Miami, but I'm, it was more like I miss my four little sisters and my mom. So I really did get homesick for a few months up there. All right, we got Barry Jackson from the Miami Herald. Barry? Hi, Tyreek. Just a quick thing on Coach Diaz and the turnover chain. I wondered when you watched Miami games the last two years, had you ever thought, hey, it'd be neat to have a turnover chain on me after a pick? And also just your impressions of Coach Diaz when he recruited you, had you thought this would be maybe a, a neat guy to play for? Oh, uh, I... You know, once I entered the portal and coaches was able to, you know, call and reach out and things, uh, me and Coach Diaz talked on the phone, and that's the first thing I mentioned to him. I was like, you know, I, I might, I'm, I'm gonna have to be the first one, you know, rock the chain this year, and I plan on rocking it a lot this year. So he, we already was on a good page with that, and he was like, um, I won't hold it from you, and I, if you want me to, I hand it to you every time we, every time you get your interception, and my, and from. Me talking to Coach Diaz in high school and me talking to Coach Diaz now, it's a different type of relationship because, you know, he had all his uh, coaching jobs and things going on, you know, as far as when I was in high school and coming out. So it was he wasn't really hands on with recruiting, but he was the first coach, you know, to, you know, you know, call me once I entered my name in the portal and we sat and talked for like 20, 20 to 30 minutes. And he just he just gave me this uh, idea and this and this vibe like I'm going to coach you hard. And I want you to do everything right that you need to do to uh, prepare yourself for the next level. And he's going to give me all the tools to do it. Awesome. This is the last one for you, Tyreek. We're going to go back to Chris Stock at Inside the U. Chris, go ahead. Yeah, Tyreek, I just wanted to follow up. You kind of sensed that you said that the guys um, came back for a reason. And I want to get your take on that. What are you noticing with maybe the goals that this team has? And then um, because it definitely, you know, we do hear that kind of stuff, that talk, the high high expectations, and then also kind of the keys for this off season to reach those goals and be, to have a successful season come this fall. Um, like what I mean by that is like, you know, the guys, they like, they, 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 they have this sense of urgency and this sense of, uh, you know, dedication to this program and to the team and the leaders are actually being leaders. And I didn't know who the leaders were. I just seen it by how they work and, you know, how they talk to the team and how much the guys, like the other teammates here, respect them. And they're doing a, uh, they're doing a great job. And I'm just trying to fall in line and, you know, see how things are run. But they've been doing a great job. And uh, can you repeat the second part of your question, please? Yeah, no problem. Uh, just 
sorry, the the uh, the keys, Tyreek, the keys to have a successful season in the in the fall. Just what are the keys for this off season um, for you guys to to make sure that you um, are well prepared and and have a good season this season? Uh, far as the keys is really what we preaching now is you know do every every do every not not possibly do everything perfect, but you know do everything right. And as far as being on time to meetings and as far as being on time to anything and not missing anything, you know, small things count and small things count. And like the keys are, let me see, like far as do everything right. And, you know, this work ethic that they still have, like, I, I like me, you know, co me coming from Georgia, it was a great work ethic there. And, you know, they, Kirby, Coach, Coach, Coach Smart, preached everything, do everything right. And that's what Coach Diaz is preaching here. So I feel like the keys is, you know, do everything right, do the little stuff right. And when you're not, when you're not in this building, are you still doing the things right? Because whatever you put in your body is, you know, going to put gonna show and as far as the keys we need you know just do everything right and nobody's gonna be perfect but if you take care of yourself and do everything right just how a pro would do it you should not have no problem so the key, that's that's really what the keys are awesome Tyreek thank you for spending a few minutes with us today and I'm sure we'll be talking to you soon good luck the rest of the offseason no problem thank you thank you